Dear chess friends, yesterday we have showed you the Italian game with the Hungarian defense. Today it is the time for Italian game with two knight defense with an idea of right lever attack. So let's start from the Italian game. As you all know, this is the position where bishop is at c4, black to move, and instead of bishop e7, which uh, the Hungarian defense, which we discussed yesterday, black moves knight f6, two knight defense, allowing, allowing white's knight to advance to g5 and attack on this weak f7 pawn. It is important that you should be aware of the theory of fried liver attack to avoid if you are playing with black or set up this kind of attack if you're playing with white to take advantages of those trap. Main move for black here is pawn d5, blocking the diagonal for the bishop. Of course, the pawn at e4 will capture d5 and if black captures by knight, then there will be an opportunity for the white to launch a fried liver attack. Yes, from this, white sec plans a sacrifice for his knight at f7 and fork the queen and the rook. So black here is forced to capture the knight by his king at f7, otherwise one of those pieces will, be, will fall anyways. But as soon as black captures knight uh, by the king, um, the queen will join the attack from f3 check and also double attack on the on the knight pinned as the knight this knight is pinned black will have two options either either he can take the king to e8 for safety but in this case uh, he will black will lose this knight or move the king to e6 and support this knight but here the other knight will join the attack from b3 increasing the pressure on the pinned knight on this position to save the knight black has three options either it can move this knight to e7 or b4 or d4 so let's examine those options Say if the knight moves to d4, attacking the queen, then bishop will capture the knight. Uh, <clears throat> so it will be check. Knight, the king will move to say d6. Queen to g3 as it was under the attack by the knight. Don't worry about the knight folk as uh, our aim is to attack on the on the king. So knight to c2 check king to d1 and knight to a8 all we care here is to attack on the king d4 attacking the pinned knight pinned pawn queen have to come queen has to come here in rescue at f6 but no use um, d takes e5 check queen takes e5 but here you go, bishop to f4 and this king is now gone. So all in all, white is in commanding position. So even if the knight goes to d7 or d4, make as white, there will be no much difference. Uh, white will push the pawn at d4, making lines open for the bishop making lines open for the bishop or even castling it, bringing rook into the game and all in all it will be a comfortable game for the white from here onwards. Let's go back a little bit. Remember, this was the position when black captured the pawn by pawn at d knight, d5 by the knight, allowing white the, to launch the fried liver attack. That is why I was saying you should know the theory of fried liver attack. Here, on this position, the main move for black is knight a5 attacking the bishop where wh where white bishop will go on go to b5 check black denied the check by a pawn push at c6 d takes c6 b takes c6 
now white has couple of options here one attack with a queen to d3 eyeing capturing the rook at a8 or retreat the bishop to either d3 or e2 moving bishop to e e2 is counter effective because you will lose all the tempo black will immediately attack on the knight at g5 knight will also need to be retreated to at d3 even black again attack on this knight and knight may end up to its original square move for white is queen d3 asking black if you capture my bishop i will capture your rook but don't feel this opening is completely dominating for white black can also play intelligently saying here black sacrifices his rook by capturing bishop at b5 queen takes rook at a8 now black queen can come into the attack uh, into the picture at uh, c7 uh, attacking pawn at um, c2 white is not careful and try to defend this pawn at a2 or castle say for example uh, at c6 will close the escape route for the queen and after a couple of uh, moves like bishop e7 and then castle and then bishop um, to b7 will, lo uh, will lose her queen so friends do let me know in the comments how do you find this video do press the like button if it is helpful and subscribe the channel next we will look at the lolly attack till then take care bye bye